What up guys, welcome to my Plants vs. Zombies tutorial for level 1-8 and we have to start choosing our plants now because we have more plants than fits in our thing. Don't worry, we only have 6 now but uh, eventually we'll be able to upgrade it all the way to 10. <clears throat> Alright, so I definitely need these and definitely I want this and the rest doesn't really matter because I don't really use them that much. I guess I'll show you guys how to use the chomper and cherry bomb sorry potato mine and if you guys saw we're finally getting exposed to the uh bucket head zombie or do i have uh no i don't have the almanac yet so if you guys don't know who i am <laughs> you probably don't if you just came here for plants vs zombies but my name is Nick. I'm from a channel called What Up Minecraft with my friend Tyler. And we make regular Minecraft content. And we decided to start playing some other games. So we uh, split up the channel into his part and my part. So we could do other games besides Minecraft. But we still make Minecraft videos. So if you're a fan, don't forget to check that out. And check out Tyler's channel. Channel. <laughs> check out Tyler's channel for the games that he plays, and check out my channel for other Plants vs Zombies videos. And what other videos do I make? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be playing some uh, Supreme Commander 2, maybe even uh, some Portal 2. I don't know. I'm looking into it. Maybe this game down here. Oh, you can't see because it's off screen. <laughs> Whatever. This game that I have called The Binding of Isaac. Even though it's not really like, there's not really levels. I can still show you guys the tricks of the trade. All right. Let's add some. Pay oh, I hate it when this happens. When zombies come in two different rows at the same time, they don't have any. Uh, weapons. Alright, we're kind of good for now. And let's add another... Actually, let's, let's, let's leave a space here because we want to keep this no peas protected. Screwed that up last time in 1-7. Alright, let's get back into the game. And I'm going to add a snow, uh, actually I'm going to start stacking up this row since those two are not going to be enough to take down that guy. So let's add a third one. And that should be good. Normally three wouldn't be enough, but since one of them is snow pee, it, it, it should be good. <laughs> getting a little too close for comfort. Let's lay down another one here. And uh, looks like we're going to need another one here soon. And all right, I'll save up the uh, snow pea for when I see another bucket head. I don't want to lay it down right as one is about to come in the wrong row. Alright, alright. What row has a bucket head? Alright, oh, he's already covered. I'll put in the one with a cone head. You know what? Why don't we just end it right now for the bucket head? Oh, I forgot to show you guys how that works. Watch. There we go. <laughs> That's how it works. Alright, since 1 8 was a bit shorter than I thought, why don't I go ahead and uh, add 1 9 to this episode? Alright, so we got the Buckethead Zombie, that's what he's called, Conehead Zombie, Pole Vaulting Zombie, so we're going to definitely need these, and I'm going to show you guys how this works, show you guys more about that, and how it works with the Walnut. So we're definitely going to need two rows, even like before I said you guys can do it how you want, if you don't want to put two rows of sunflowers or two columns, whatever you want to call them, you don't have to, like I always enjoy having a little extra sun but for this one, I will strongly recommend doing it with the two columns. What would it be columns? I guess columns would be like up and down. Because 
columns hold things up. Um, we're gonna go with the pea shooter for this one. Just give him a little bit more time to advance. I'm gonna put it all the way up there. That should be far enough away to kill him. One, two, three, four, and dead. Ah, there we go. He's safe. He didn't get eaten. Alright, now which one do I put back in the back row? Alright, I got this plan laid out in my head. So, alright. Gonna start putting the walnuts since these guys take a really long time to regenerate. And I'm gonna show you how the chomper works. Because I showed it at the end of the last level, but you didn't really get to see how it recharges. That's why I put it behind this walnut. Because he eats, kills in one shot, but then he has to chew. Why don't we put another one here too? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if he'll bite fast enough. Before the other guy. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> well, that's great. Alright, the back row is the snow pee row then. <laughs> Although he probably is going to get through that, so we may be in for a little problem. Nope, not going to make... actually it's not a mistake because I can do this. Alright, I screwed up this row, <laughs> but I can fix this. There we go. And... If you guys were watching any of these other ones, you'd see that they have to chew before they can eat another guy. So put one there. Let's wait for the to get that one. Come on, wait for oh the walnut is recharged. So cover him while he's chewing. That's not good. And Ah, good. Okay, this guy swallowed. And let's continue putting down the regular pea shooters. So basically, if you guys didn't know, this walnut is basically just a guard. Holds them off for a little bit. And let's get a snow pea in this row. This row needs a walnut the most. Actually, let's save up since there's a bucket head coming, and I'm going to show you guys the new one that we just got, the repeater. Now, you can't really, probably can't tell because there's this guy behind him, but the repeater shoots two peas at a time. So, while it does cost 200, it's basically double, it is a space saver. I'll put it there to force him to jump. And he ate the wrong guy, so that's great. But putting the repeater there should kill him. And uh, I didn't even notice that other pole vaulting zombie got through, so that's awful. But nothing a little snow pea can't fix. Alright, this setup has not worked as well as I pictured it in my head. But we're gonna make it through the level, and that's what's important. I think eventually I will show you guys what these lawnmowers do. I'm pretty sure eventually I'm gonna screw up bad enough that they make it to the end. Alright, we're gonna need some help with Buckethead, so let's slow him down a bit, stall him, while we get... See, even, even, even uh, with two rows, I don't have the amount of sun I need, so definitely two rows. Alright, now I have enough. That should take him down fast. Alright, let's slow down that cone head. There 
and pick up the sun that I'm missing. Uh, all right, what do we add? What needs some attention? I guess the middle row could use some help. And then the only row without a snow pea could use some help. All right, let's save up a little bit. Almost time for the final wave. And let's drop another pea shooter down there. Two more spots to fill. 300 sun. One there. And only 100 more. And we should be set to just let our plants work for the final wave. And even if they were to get through, once they make it to the final wave and uh, all the lawnmowers are still there, it's a guaranteed win. I don't even need to pick up that sun. But I will. <laughs> I think this achievement for getting over uh, 8,000 sun it is, or 7,000, something around that in one level. I can show you guys how to get that. See, you would think, oh, do an easy level so that you can, like, put so many sunflowers and only a few pea shooters. But the problem is the easy levels are really short. So you might not have enough time to get that much sun. Alright, we're about to launch an all-out attack on your house. So why don't you guys watch the next episode, since we're going to be cutting it right here. And I'll show you how to finish the first, or world, or whatever it's called, the first group of levels in 1-10. Alright, see you guys next time. Hey you. Yeah, you. What are you still doing here? Click on one of these links. Click on one of these links right now. Did I stutter?